Hey guys, my name's Lauren and in today's video I'm going to be doing a proper introduction to my new little nano tank I set up. Um, I feel like I've got a little bit of explaining to do um, as I did that previous video about the Max Spect Lite R1. I had every intention of it going on this tank when I was unboxing it. Turned out it didn't fit so um, I ended up having to just you know go with it and wing it and pop it on my nano tank so um a few of you were like what we didn't even know you had this tank so um apologies for that then we got three pieces of equipment so it's a really super easy basic setup um for a, a clownfish nano tank so i hope you enjoy as always if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and to turn on the bell so that you're notified when i'm uploading new videos and a massive thank you to everyone that subscribed um and all your support and comments it means the absolute world so thank you and i am on instagram as well if you'd like to go and follow me on there um for more regular updates also i'm recovering from a bit of a cold so if i sound a bit funny um that's why <laughs> with this new tank uh my friends actually gave me the tank itself for free so uh who the heck says no to a free tank so that brings up my total indoor tanks to uh three and a half and I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the tanks that i've got inside So this is my 35 litre nano tank. As I said, the tank itself was given to me for free. And then uh, just on a local buy swap sell page, uh, someone locally was selling the two clownfish with uh, about 10 or 11 anemones that they had in their tank and they were closing their tank down. So I got them for an absolute bargain. So I got the two clowns and about 11 anemones um, with some live rock. Um, for $50. So I couldn't pass that down. I was like, I've always wanted to have anemones, but um, as I've said before, I've been a little bit nervous to put them in my other tank because I've just heard, you know, the horror stories of um, anemones getting caught in power heads and stuff like that. Um, you know, down the track, I might end up uh, building up the courage to put them in that tank. Um, but for now, I kind of like the idea of having like an anemone only tank. Um, and so yeah, pretty happy with how this has turned out. So about the top two layers of rock um, were the live rock that they came attached to. And then the bottom few rocks are some rocks that I made myself because live rock in Australia is ridiculously expensive. Um, if you haven't watched that video, um, I do show you exactly how I made them. I made about 90% of the rocks that are in my six foot tank. So definitely go and check out that video. I'll leave the link up above if you haven't seen that yet. So I added those in and then I also had another piece of rock. I um, also got this really nice Dymax Slim Flow uh, hang on back filter. I do really like hang on back filters. So. I really like the double one. I think this filter is actually meant for like double the amount of water volume that I've got in there. But I, I was like, you know, I'm happy to get the bigger one and, you know, for it to be over filtered if anything. So all I've got in there is uh, these filter pads that it came with. Um, I might add in a little bit of filter floss as well. Then I've also got my heater set at about 25 degrees. So I've got that one there. Last of all, <laughs> my fancy schmancy light that I won in one of the max spec competitions. Um, this thing is absolutely gorgeous and I'm extremely grateful for winning it. It's beautiful. So before I won that, I actually had a Dymax um, LED, just a basic light on there. And the anemones actually seemed fine. Um, you, you'll see in this footage that, you know, seemed fine. You know, obviously they didn't have as many blue uh, LEDs in them. So the colors weren't popping as much. Um, but I think it was actually completely fine. So if you are thinking of, you know, doing a bit of a similar setup, um, I found that that was working just fine for the first few weeks. But as you can see now with the Max Spec light, it really does just make the tank pop. Um, you get all those colors out of the um, anemones and yeah, just is beautiful. The anemones have spent a bit of time moving around, um, I think because it is so bright um, compared to what it used to be. I did have it on some of the dimmest settings because um, you can program it all in your phone, um, do like a sunrise type effect. It's crazy how good this light is. 
compared to what I've been using. I guess that's one of the good and the bad things about anemones is if you put them in a place they don't like, um, if they don't like the light, if they don't like the flow, they'll just move to where they like it and they'll just set up camp there. One of the negatives with that though is a few of mine have actually set up camp at the back of the tank and they're facing that way so you can't actually see them. So, uh, but they're still moving around. So hopefully all 11 of my anemones don't decide that they like the look of the back wall than the front. Some of them go into tiny little crevices and I don't know, if they're happy, they're happy. It'd be nice to be able to see some. I'm absolutely loving this tank. Just got so much awe for how beautiful these creatures are, you know, and the relationship that they've got with the clownfish. It's just really, really cool to watch. And, you know, the anemones themselves, you know, finding a place that they like, like it's just so fascinating. So it's really, really cool. One thing you do need to watch out for if you're doing a uh, nano tank like this is that the water evaporates a lot quicker. All the effects of the water evaporation are a lot quicker than, you know, a six foot big tank. So the way I keep on top of that is I've got my refractor meter and I'm constantly checking the salinity levels. And if it does need to be topped up, I just put their frozen food into a cup of RO water, which I've also got a bucket of that right here, ready to go. Um, so I just put their food in there and just top it up until the salinity is at the level that it's meant to be. Other than that, um, I'm not going to be adding any more fish as it's at its maximum. I just want the two clowns and um, the anemones. So it just goes to show what is possible uh, with just three pieces of equipment. And you know, if you're switching from fresh water to salt water, and you're hesitant or you know you probably already got half of this equipment already um, it just goes to show that uh, you don't need all the fancy equipment that's what I'm trying to show with my channel is what's possible you know using what you already have and trying to make the most of the equipment you've already got so um, I definitely encourage you to give it a crack biggest thing for me I guess is the more live rock the better because that in itself becomes a filtration system so the more live rock you can get in there the better for your fish and your corals and the more stable that the environment's gonna stay so if anything I would suggest to deck it out with live rock um, definitely spend your money on that and a good cleanup crew because that and the cleanup crew it's all gonna be Become its own little ecosystem and um, the live rock's gonna become that filtration and the main filtration for you. Awesome. If anything, I'd highly suggest to splurge out on that sort of stuff. Yeah, I hope you enjoy, guys. I'm gonna be doing updates on this tank as well. So um, just like I do with my six foot tank, I'm gonna be sharing the good and the bad um, of keeping such a basic setup. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and we'll see you next time.